Hello, welcome back to another video, and today the Trapdoor Factory has ran out of ideas, well like a couple of weeks ago, the Trapdoor Factory ran out of ideas, so uh, since Vortex is a thing and I don't know of any Vortex Trapdoors, I just decided to just make a fucking 4x4 Vortex Trapdoor. 5x5 uh, five five is in the work, but um, yeah, that's a bit more complicated and the layout is a is like an actual mess. So this was my very first draft. Um, I removed the targets in post. There was a target like in here, and but um, it's it's rather unnecessarily complicated. So if we just turn it off from below, you can see this is just you see this storage double and this fake double. You know from like Sydney's very old 4x4 layout. So this is uh, 220 blocks, 11 by 10 by 2, and then I realized, wow, this is, I mean, this is nice and all, but it's useless, because you can just do what we did on the 5x5 five five, uh, cave trapdoor, and just use a burnout to make it 200 blocks, which is rather boring, I guess, and anticlimactic, but... Um, yeah. A smaller version, like a more rectangular version where we cut one from the left and add one in the back, uh, is in the work, so that would be 188 blocks, but that is also proving to be a bit more difficult, and um, yeah, that's also like a work in progress, so this is just like a... not even proof of concept, because of course it works, but like this is just, to my knowledge, the first... the second, because that's the first um, 4x4 Vortex Trapdoor. And, uh, yeah, artificially extending the length of my daily video chain by just making a short two-minute video on something completely free. This isn't necessary, by the way, this is just for making it, like, sync all, like, symmetrical all the way around, because you can see the one single corner doesn't actually want to with them, but whatever. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow for an actual video. Bye!